Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw glamorous lips and a feather. Let's start by sketching the general shape of the mouth. The top lip and the bottom lip, roughly. Then the upper teeth. I'll erase the lines that we don't need anymore and then draw the mouth in a little bit more detail. Good! The texture line will be on this direction following the shape of the lips. Now let's do the overall shape of the feather. I wanted to go here. It may be a little bit tickling. <laughs> Again, we start with the general shape. Now with a red marker, let's outline the lips. Good, we will leave some reflections here. And let's fill it in. More or less, try to follow their shape. Now with a white pastel, we will do the feather. I am drawing on a grey cardboard paper. On white paper, the white pastel wouldn't be seen. We should get some red in between the feather. Good. Use linear strokes. They would be thicker toward the center. The reason I'm doing this drawing, aside from the fact that I wanted to draw lips and a feather, it's because I want to show you how to draw two very different kinds of textures. This feather is going to be soft and fluffy. The lips are going to be shiny and they need more shadows, more reflections and volume. We can do the reflections with a white pastel and a white pencil. For the light shadows, I'll use some magenta. Some fuller red. And now let's do the teeth part. Fill in the space with black. Use gray for the shadow. And white for the tone. Since in reality they are not totally white, I'll get some very slight brown as well. Good! I like how it is looking so far. I love doing this. I'll work on the feather a little bit more. Let's do a shade with the light grey toward the center. The lips need more volume. We can achieve this by darkening some areas with the blue pencil. Notice that there is a reflected light toward the bottom of them. By the way, the list of materials is in the information below the video. We need a shadow for the mouth and for the feather as well. I don't like the reflections on the lower lip too much, so I'll cover them and redo them. For the feather to look very soft, the tiny hairy things need to be in different directions, a bit random. I'll use an oil base paint for the last touches of the feather as well as for the highlights on the red. A last texture with the marker and it's ready! If you wanted to kiss it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you on Tuesday.